What is up, everybody? Welcome to some Kadel and Rayhan. Hope you're excited to have some. Uh oh, we're playing against Mormir Vig. I've played against this guy before, man. This guy's spooky. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I've like, oh, that's cute that his name is matches his avatar, and then I just get taken out behind the woodshed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a little kid. Like, yeah, man, every time I get paired against him, like, seriously, his name's Mormir Vig. He's got the avatar, and he plays Mormir Vig. And his deck is just... <laughs> it's just a beast mode, man. It just, um... <laughs> Do we want to get down Carrion Feeder right now? Um, that would be... Okay, so we need probably two blue sources. Yeah, we're going to go for the... Well... Black blue, yeah, well, we can go, go. We got some Sky Shroud claim action. Yeah, we're going to get a, uh, let's grab a Underground C, get down Carrion Feeder, and then we're going to pass turn. But yeah, so other than hoping, uh, I think we might lose this one. He, he's he got a pretty fine-tuned Mulmer Vig deck. But we're playing Cadell and Rayhan, a little Soul Tie Counters Matter deck. A lot of fun. Definitely enjoy it. Uh, let's go. Drown Catacomb can get down. We're going to go Forest, though. Um... I'm going swinging for one. Coming in hot for one. Let's go ahead and go uh, lightning greaves. That way, if we want to um, get down ray hand, we can stick it on there. We can go and stick it, and go and stick it on carrying feeder right now. There we go. But yeah, this is Sultai Counters deck. Um, there's nothing too crazy in here. No combos. Um, a little bit like a more rear vig. Well, no, no, not like more rear vig. Excuse me. Um, more of just like a counters matter deck with Soul Tide. We've got the black counter uh, tutors in here. We've got uh, some like Corpse Jack Menace, and then we have the um, the new one from Kaladesh, the um, Aetherborn Flyer. That uh, when it comes into the battlefield, you can put all the counters on it. It has Life Link, so it's a pretty fun little deck. Just really just kind of more of a toolbox deck. We, deck. we don't have a, a strict win condition other than just uh, having fun. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Alright, so we're looking at three mana. Um, we can green sun. I really want to save this green sun zenith for corpse jack menace. Um, that just gets really crazy with corpse jack menace out there. So I think we're gonna go ray hand. Yeah, let's go drown catacombs. Let's go. Let's get on ray hand. Okay, black green. Put the uh, lightning greaves on there. Let's go and swing in hot for three. Got him down to 34. Yeah, and then we're going past turn. All right, so next turn, we're looking at getting down Watery Grave. Um, we could Sky Shroud Claim, but I, I want to go and get down Cadell. That way we can get the Lightning Greaves on there and start uh, getting some... It really, this this whole deck, there's not really <clears throat> like a solid win condition. It's just a bunch of good stuff. And um, same thing with Cadell. Cadell's in here just as like a, uh, a mana rock. You know, we've got stuff like Brainstorm and uh, other stuff to kind of amplify the card draw. But yeah. A lot of fun. So we've got three mana up, five cards in hand. Um, let's go and swing in for Ray Hand first. And the good thing with Ray Hand on the counters is we have a sack outlet. So we can start move shifting those counters around in response to something. Um, let's go ahead and. Yeah, let's go ahead and shock this in. Uh, let's see if he's got a counter spell. Let's see if we can't stick a Sky Shroud Claim. Okay, Vincer's coming in. <laughs> Vincer, that goes back to her hand. Yeah, then we'll go and pass the turn. So at least four cards in hand. Yeah, this deck is... Uh, I've played against him before. It's pretty pretty gnarly pretty quick. <laughs> okay, but as far as our commanders goes, I just realized I didn't... Oh, he's, he's going for the... Yeah, see, I'm telling you, man. There's this no... He leaves everything on the field when we're Vig. <laughs> Let's see if we rimp up. No, nature's lore. Okay. Um, we go Chasm Skulker. Yeah, and then we'll... Yeah, we'll go and pass turn. Yeah, so uh, I forgot to cover our commander. So we're playing Ray Hand. So he enters the battlefield with three plus one counters. Then whenever a creature dies, basically if it has plus one counters on it, you can shift them around to your other creatures. We're also playing with the partner commander of Cadell. 
Um, Crows, uh, Chosen of Crufix, uh, add one colorless mana for each card you've drawn this turn. She's basically in here just as a, just like a, a mana rocket for pretty much all she's going for. And they're playing against a Mormir Vig, so whenever you cast a green creature spell, you may search your library for a creature card, reveal it. And when you cast a blue creature spell, reveal the top card of your library if it's a creature card, put it in your hand. There we go. Oh, we got Edric coming in too. Yeah, this is, uh, I cannot tell you how many times it just, just gets gnarly when I've played this guy. Let's see if we hit a green source, Thumbing Bird. Nope. It's not a green source. But yeah, we can go ahead and get it down, though. I guess kind of the game plan right now is just to, uh, what I may do is I may shift the, uh, shift the Lightning Greaves over to the Chasm Skulker. That way, um, well, actually, I'm going to put it on... I'll put it on Thurming Bird. That way, if we need to sacrifice it, we can sacrifice right hand, put it on there, draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, we may actually do that next turn. Let's see what kind of... Uh, if he wants to swing in or anything, then we can do it in response to some blockers. But yeah, what we can do is the sacrifice outlet out here. We can um, sacrifice right hand... And then those counters, we can put them on Chasm Skulker, and then sacrifice Chasm Skulker. Oh, excuse me, I'm thinking, um... Yeah, I was thinking we draw cards equal to the number of cards on here. We get the 1-1 squid token. So yeah, we're probably going to hold off on that one for right now. Get Rashmi... Yeah, this, see, this is exactly what happens when you play this guy. It just... <laughs> You play him, you're like, oh, that's cute. He's got a, a fun little avatar. He's got a matching avatar and matching name. No, run away. <laughs> run. Run as fast as you can. <laughs> I'm just like, I, I just laugh about this because this is exactly how it always plays out every time I've played this person. Male, I don't, yeah, maybe a guy. Maybe a female. This person, every time I've played this person, it, <laughs> it ends up being like this. Just a whole just slew of just assault of just Simic creatures, card drawing, <laughs> prime speaker. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do right now. Just got a grip full of green and uh, some black blue lands. Okay. Yeah, we could, I don't think, does anything have reach? That thing has reach, so we could actually swing in with Thrumming Bird, and yeah, we're going to do that. I mean, it's better than nothing at this point. So we're going to deal damage. We're going to get to increase the number of counters that we have. We'll put one on Rayhan, add one on Chasm Skulker. Got two four fours. Yeah, and I guess we'll just... Be, he does have islands over there, so we can get into a spot to where if we can make 24 squid tokens, then we're going to be able to close the game out. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'll probably go and post this video up, just because uh, it's just funny. It feels like... Uh-oh, uh we got Tooth and Nail coming in. So, there's Mormir Vig that plays online a lot, and um, he's really cool. I mean, he's got a really fine-tuned Warmer Vig deck. Like, that's his deal. So, props to him. And there's another guy online called the Boogeyman. And he plays this nasty Gitrog deck that just, like, makes you... <laughs> like, it's one of those, like, uh... I'm just going to F6. Um, playing against the Boogeyman, he has this nasty Gitrog deck, and it just, uh... Like, it makes you wonder why you sat down to play a game of Magic. Like, it's, we've got, like, he's going as hard, like, and here's the deal. When he puts a game online, he's always like, uh, hey, anything goes in the comments. So that means literally anything goes. And so, um, hold on, let's see what he's targeting. All right, he's targeting that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, sacrifice Rayhan, put him on the Skulker. Get a bunch of squid tokens. Better than nothing at this point. And then we'll go ahead and sacrifice in response just to get him in the graveyard. Now, we could put him back under our hand, but that's not what we want to do right now. All right, then we'll go and F6. There's nothing else we can do now. But, so playing against the boogeyman. Um, 
you know, he when he makes a game, he's always like, anything goes. So that literally means, you know, you can't get mad if you get, like, Wasteland locked out or strip mined out. Like, that's part of it. And so I've, there's been a couple of times where I've tried to record against him, and he just, it is just nasty. It's like running into the meat grinder. And uh, same thing with playing against Mormir Vig, man. It's, uh... <laughs> To me, it's it's almost like playing against like I know this this is gonna sound goofy, but to me it's like playing against Mormir Vig is like playing against LSV like or something like I've never played against them, but it's just like among our Magic Online community, this meta community, Mormir Vig and uh, the Boogeyman are like <laughs> God like like they're just their names ring out on the street corner on the Commander street corner like like if you play any sort of like extended amount of commander on magic online you know who Mormir Vig is and you know who the boogeyman is and you know you know how nasty their decks are like you heard me at the beginning of the video talking about this Mormir Vig <laughs> I was like uh oh this is gonna get nasty real quick and like look look at us now we've got uh, just a whole assortment of just I'm gonna go and close the graveyard out so we can have a lot more fun <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. But uh, so we're getting everything bounced back to the hand. He's gonna be able to swing in for a bunch. <laughs> yeah, th this is how it plays out. But yeah, it's just it's always made me laugh. Um, <laughs> but, like, cause I remember the first time I played against him against more rear vig. I was like, oh, that's cool, man. The guy got more rear vig tag, and he got the avatar. Cool, man. I wonder if he's playing. Oh, he is playing more rear vig. And then like five minutes later, I'm like in a magic coma because I just got hit so hard with Simic creatures just from everywhere. <laughs> so like like what's happening right now, like our squid tokens are getting <laughs> obliterated. <laughs> got a Cidic Slime on our fours. <laughs> yeah, man. He, the more Revere goes hard, so... <laughs> It, this is fun though, and he's gonna draw like a hundred million cards too now. I think I don't know. It's hard to keep up with all those all that stuff over there. But yeah, I will. I will take it. I'm not sure there's what what else we can get out of this, but um, it's a little discouraging just because this is like the second video I've tried to record with this deck. And here's the deal, I I've. I put in like five or six matches with this deck before I even hit the record button. And I've had tons of fun. And then there was like three or four. I was like, dang it, why did I not record this? Just because I was like getting ready for it. And, um, oh man. Yeah, I think he's... Let's just add up the math so he doesn't have to combo off. So we'll get 3, 6, 11, 15. Looking at 21. 27. Uh, 34. Yeah, that, that's a good game, man. Good game, more maybe. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go and scoop it up. Yeah, that he's got us on combat next turn. That was uh, that Vincer on the uh, Sky Shot claim undid us right there. That was uh, that did it. So, all right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. <laughs>